everybody. Welcome to another car session of Coach Carla's shenanigans. Let me tell you what I heard the other day on TikTok. And I thought it was highly offensive. And if you think it's highly offensive, then please do me a favor. At the end of this video, please like, please share. Because I feel like it was very offensive. Now, there's this guy that I watch on TikTok. Love him. I think he's hilarious. Some of his humor could be a little iffy it kind of depends on what the joke is about because he doesn't seem to have any political barriers for anything he was just talking about how everybody is complaining about the coronavirus that the coronavirus has killed so many people and we know that coronavirus doesn't just kill it lowers the immune system so whatever underlining issues you might already have that's what's pretty much going to kill you and he was saying that there was a woman who had been complaining about, you know, the COVID. And his response to this one woman was, if you weren't 400 pounds, you know, stuffing your face full of, you know, McDonald's menu every day. And you actually got up off your fat ass and did, you know, got on a treadmill, maybe you wouldn't have any problems. And it's comments like that, that truly irritate me it irritates the hell out of me because why is it that people don't realize because men and women both suffer with this some people can't just lose weight some people it's genetics others it's a medical condition my sister and my daughter both have a similar medical condition that makes it extremely difficult for them to lose weight and my, my daughter, she, she does the keto diet, intermittent fasting. You know, she's doing things to try to help with losing the weight. You know, she stopped eating red meat. You know, she's practically a vegetarian now. But she's still having a hard time. So I'm just curious to, to ask men that feel like, oh, if a woman is just fat and lazy she just needs to go to the gym and just wait you know just get all of that out um i want to know does that apply to the females out here that can't lose the weight on their own does this apply to the females that have a thyroid issue that makes it damn near impossible for them to lose the weight i mean who does this comment apply to because i need to understand now we do have some women out here that are truly just lazy don't want to do anything they want to eat the meals off mcdonald's menus and you know have a good old time that's fine to each his own who cares but when people actually get on social media and poke fun at individuals not understanding their situation and making it a a public display of offensiveness i want to call it then yeah, I got a problem. I, I think that that's, that's not cool. I mean, women are already self-conscious about their body. You know, women are very, very self-conscious about their body. We have more to deal with than men. So it's extremely difficult when a woman that is trying her hardest to lose weight and can't. And no matter what she does, no matter how many times she may go on a diet, you know, and some people do the gastric bypass, some people do the, the tying, putting a rubber band around your belly. I mean, a lot of people have a lot of different reasons why they cannot lose weight and why they decide to go for, um, you know, an operation or a procedure to help them get healthy. But comments like that don't help. And it's important for people to be aware, be mindful that everybody's different. Not everybody's gonna be like, oh, just fat and you know unhealthy and that's just the way it is. No, there are people out here that are truly struggling to find a way to lose weight so that they can be healthy. There's a lot of people out here that don't wanna be sick. I mean, we're all terrified of the COVID. But it, should, it kills me. It just kills me how some people will say things out their side of their face and not even understand. My thing is, people, if you don't know, if you haven't walked a mile in the person's shoes, if you have, if you've never been, you know, fat and just couldn't lose the weight or, you know, I mean, you might seem, you're, you might think that you're perfect and that's great, but don't make other people feel bad just because you think you're fine or just because you can get up and go to the gym because not everybody can do that. And 
everybody has their own time when it's just time for them to get up and do what they got to do, you know? Don't make it harder on society by putting your two cents in and giving people your opinion when they don't ask for it. It's better to be kind and supportive and understanding and the best way to be supportive to somebody who is struggling is to try to come up with different alternatives because maybe they just need help. You don't know. And people out here, they're so quick to pass judgment on people without even understanding what the situation is and it's disgusting. So don't be like that. Well, I encourage people all the time. I'm, I'm a personal trainer. So you know I know I'm never going to make a person feel bad behind their weight because I know how it feels. I know how it feels to be on the, the thick end and on the thin end. I don't have a thyroid problem. I was just being a lazy ass. That was my problem. Because I understand how hard it is to work that weight off and because I decided that a part of who I was meant that I was going to help people, I wasn't going to sit around and make people feel bad. If you're having trouble losing weight and you just need some support, inbox me, DM me. I will give you all the advice I know. I will help you lose weight. Because as a lifestyle coach who specializes in procrastination, that's one of the biggest things people have. They want to lose the weight, but they're like, oh, but I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. You know, I, I got this going on. I got that going on. And you know what? You're either going to want to be healthy and sexy, or you're going to be unhealthy and fat. That's it. There, there's no middle ground. I mean, you have to maintain your weight on some level. You just have to. It's a choice. You know, like, like I said, everybody at one point in time will get to the point where they're going to be so sick and tired of being unhealthy and unhappy that they're going to take the necessary steps to change it. We all do. We just need that push. And people, some people just haven't gotten to that push yet. That's all. Be kind to each other. The world is already cool enough. We don't need anyone adding to it by making people feel bad about their weight. It's, it's not necessary. That was it. You know, like I said, it's just a small banter of what I overheard. I mean, what I saw on TikTok and it kind of upset me because I, I needed to understand why he felt the need to do that. You know, why is it that women are always the object of somebody else's ridicule? It's just, it's just, it's not right. It's just not right. I'm talking about men and women who do it. Men and women. You know, it's not just limited to men because women tend to do the same thing to other women. You know, some women, I guess some women do the same thing to men. I don't know, but it's not nice be mean because eventually you will get your comeuppance but anyway we all know this don't forget to like and subscribe guys don't forget to share if you think this video is amazing put those notifications on and please share these videos if you think that somebody could benefit from any of my advice I'm out here to encourage people to step into their own light and their own greatness. I encourage women who are in their 40s and 50s who feel like time has passed them by to know, let's go, get up, let's rejoin the living. That's what we do. You know, it's never too late. It's never too late to recreate who you are, who you want to be. You know, everything is up to you. And it's not going to be an easy road. It's always a hard road. It's always hard. But you can do it. I know you can.